I'm just going to do a little experiment here. We're going to make a circuit shown like this. We have a yellow LED, red LED, blue LED in a series with a resistor. The resistor is to stop too much current going through the LEDs. We're just using a 9 volt battery and later on we're going to make some voltage measurements and a current measurement with a meter. So here's the circuit. Let's switch it on. There's your LEDs. Very nice. The current is going from the plus through the red wire. Red wire goes for plus. Through the resistor to the blue LED, the red LED, the yellow LED and back to the battery. Watch what happens when I use a wire to bridge across one LED. The LED turns off, the other two LEDs get brighter. What happens if I bridge two LEDs? Two LEDs turn off and the third one gets even brighter. So what's happening is the LEDs are sharing the voltage between them. There's nine volts in the battery, some voltage across the resistor and a voltage across the LEDs. Let's measure the voltage. We turn on the meter, which is set to volts DC. We connect the probes up. Let's measure the battery first. So, first of all, we put the black probe on the black side. We can just dig it into where the wire goes into the breadboard. We just go to the other side and we see is 8.06 volts. This is not the best battery in the world. Go to the other side of the resistor. It's now 6.82 volts. So what happens is the resistor is soaking up one point two one volts. So what happens is the LEDs have their own voltage the blue one is he's getting a good contact here 3.11 volts that's above 3 volts the red LED 1.72 volts and the yellow LED just under 2 volts. So normally red LED is just under 2 volts, the yellow or green LEDs are just slightly above 2 volts and the blue LED is above 3 volts. Add them together six point eight volts. The battery's got too much voltage for the LEDs